G'day, I'm Ash. Welcome back to the channel. I know my videos haven't been performing terribly well. It's probably due to the content that I produce. Anyway, enough of the negative shit. Uh, yesterday's video, I just, the events, man. War Thunder events. I'm not even participating in them and they're just getting me down. I think that's probably the wrong attitude to have when the rest of the game is fully functional, at least from a capacity of the, being able to, you know, have some self-enjoyment. So, the boys and I, we've been playing a little more Ground Forces. So the Diesel here, unfortunately, gets absolutely nailed. I did take out a, a T-3485, and we're about to take out an IS-1. Gosh, I love the VFW. It's a rank 3, but a rank 5.7 little monster. It's called the German Toaster, for obvious reasons. You know, it's an 88mm Flak 37, mounted on a, a special chassis that they've built, and yeah, it's, it's good fun. You can have side skirts up, you can have side skirts down. I keep forgetting that that's a modification, as such I didn't really do much about it. Southwest manages to kill that Centurion and also the TT4 that was hiding on the corner. But put a random shot that direction and managed to kill a M4A1. Goodness me, this is looking like a spicy game already. Don't expect the gameplay to be all splashy here. Recording this live as we, uh... I was just scanning for targets. What the hell? I swore I saw one of those bushes moves. Maybe it was just de-rendering? I have no idea. Anyway. This thing's got no armor whatsoever. <laughs> it's, um... It's just a glorified, uh, you know... What do they call it? Glass cannon, that's it. And this thing was introduced in update 1.87 locked on as a reward for the Battlefield Engineer event. I believe it's one of the first Battlefield Engineer type events. Now, I can't remember when update 1.87 came out. Ah, 12th of March 2019. Simpler times, eh? Ah, uh, when the world wasn't full of Rona. But we were still depressed about War Thunder. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Ah, uh, alas. Good times. And that was the introduction of French helicopters and rank 7 ground vehicles. Remember, we had rank 7 air update prior to that. Oh, the phone. Oh, I smell a rat. Is there a vehicle over there? Do I have to see a barrel? Might have done. I really don't like this map. This map is horrible. It's one of the worst maps ever. I wish they'd just include the full extent of the map. Well, hello. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd that Hellcat go? He was there and... Well, he's, he's not running out into the field, has he? Um... This is why I don't play tanks as much. Or, you know, well, I've got all the aircraft in games. So I don't really have a... I don't have a reason not to. See, I just ping that location. Okay. Right, I'm just going to drive forward and pretend like those things don't exist. These will spot or something, but I can't really spot it. Random shell that direction. Again, got quite a lot of ammo on board. I have no idea what ammo to really take, so I just fire the primary shell up. Yeah, hold the phone. He's just... he's just behind there. There we go, Black Cat. Got him in the radiator, knocked out one of his crew members. Did we be able to kill him? He's gone. He's long gone. Alright, let's push. Diesel spotted something. What's up ahead? Tiger? Oh, that's a dead wreck of a tiger. I always feel nervous about approaching the sea point on this map, considering there are so many areas in which you could flank. Actually, just gonna double check my six. Oh, phone. There is a thing there. Yeet. Okay, there's a T-34-85 out of the question again. That'll stop us from getting absolutely demolished. What have we got? Hello? Anybody in the forest on the right-hand side? Probably not. This thing's decent mobility means it can get anywhere and do anything, but on flat terrain, you're basically sitting duck for any kind of type of aircraft possible. So many other guys are killing other things. Well, hang on. Just took a hit from the, the Hellcat. There's another tank that might be coming around that corner. Oh, hello. Shit, shit, fire! He was lucky I did not knock out one of my crew members. That's another kill. That's professional times five. And then, yeet. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Well, that's that's a wrap. Nice bit of killing action there. Some long range, some close range. Let's hope I don't get shot by uh, some aircraft or something like that. Hey. All right, we're going to go in and capture the sea point. 
Gonna gain a crew member back and hopefully everything goes alright. Oh, I'm hearing an aircraft. I don't like the sound of that. No, no. Oh, I spoke too soon. Can I aim the gun up and fire on him? No, I can't. Oh, shit. Um, we've got no, we've got no choice other than to accept our death here. Let's hope that we can just hide in this corner as he's spinning around. Oh, we're dead. Welcome back. We've taken out the exclusive uh, Tiger P. I know a couple of stories about the, the, the Ferdinand Porter's uh, Tigers. Apparently one of them, you know, knocked out an electricity grid. <laughs> and, and it took the Germans a week to repair everything. Because those are like electric drives. Who would have thought electric tanks, you know? We had electric, like, engines and like, uh, railway equipment, but... Nobody thought electric tanks would be good on a battlefield. Here we are in 2022 and they're only just starting to experiment with you know, electric IFVs, and the countries are looking into, you know, ways that they can use electric power to, to help, you know, with patrols and all sorts of things. We've got drones and stuff, but I don't think they count. Oh, he's dead. Rip. And I mean, looking at War Thunder's projection, or at least for its future, do you think that, that, that there will be a future for those types of vehicles? At least hybrid drives or whatever? It'd be interesting to see some of the charcoal, like, vehicles that they experimented with, or at least Germany experimented with. Uh, kiln-firing, wood-fired, uh, stuff that, what do they call them? The Peter tanks, if I remember correctly. Correct me in the comments down below. Essentially, you boil up a bunch of wood, you make some sort of, like, gas or something from it, and then that gas gets turned into something. And then that is what's used to drive vehicles. Basically, a, a big old steam engine mounted to the back of a vehicle. Looking for tanks. Where am I? Ash, stay on topic. Again, not entirely sure where or what. Who is still alive? Looks like our team's got all the capture points. This is a good thing, because I mean, it just allows us to really just chill. Big old bomb crater here. Someone was here. Again, I'm running through the middle of an open field. That is a P8. That is a dirty big old honking P8. Let's see if we can look at, look at the middle of the machine gun fire coming up after him, eh? Nobody wants him around. He'll probably drop his bomb. I don't know where, but... I feel like we're almost spawn coming here. He's dropped his bomb already. Yeah, okay. There's another aircraft up as well. Where did he drop his bomb? Who knows? But I'm going to keep driving and uh, hopefully get another kill. A lot of you in the comments of yesterday's video were speculative as to why I said that it was a waste of time, at least when it was talking about Operation Summer. I mean, yeah, generally speaking, War Thunder's events have taken a considerable amount of time, but as someone who has participated in almost every single major event since 2014, it's been a long while. Uh, it's getting a bit confusing to keep up with things and and uh, making videos on things just isn't as they once seemed. So this week we're going to do an American Truck Sim video. If you like American Truck Sim, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, that'll be a fun journey where we go have a bit of an explore. I'm not going to spoil it with the ins and outs of that just yet, but there's that to look forward to. Still going to edit it, it's like three hours long. Um. And I just want to experiment with just different games and different genres and see how we stick. Because, yeah, while I do have a, a, a job and, and, and that's providing main source of my income, I do rely on the supplementary income from YouTube in order to boost that and consider myself, you know, decently employed. Um, outside of that, though, you know, save yourself, you know, 3% on, on anything in War Thunder. And, you know, range up. That guy should have bought my decal. There we go. That is, uh, that's what he should have bought. <laughs> what a beautiful decal it is. And that's the end of the match, I suppose. Yeah. Three capture points. We're all pushing in on their spawn. I'm basically in between two spawns right now. Yeah, no. I'm, uh, spawn securing. Not spawn camping. It's a terminology I, I, I'd rather call it. But hey, thank you much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it this far, toss me a like. Subscribe for more. And uh, I will see you in some videos soon.